Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you for uh, joining us to commemorate the 200th session of Pennsylvania General Assembly. I'm pleased to be here today with Speaker Terzai and Majority Leader Corman and Senator Scabello, Senator Bartolotto, Senator Alloway, and uh, I'll let uh, Mike take care of uh, the House members that uh, are here. Uh, the opening of the General Assembly's term in 2016 marked a 200th session in which the General Assembly has met. However, it was on November 28, 1776, that the first session of the General Assembly actually began, which is why we are recognizing it this fall. While it's true, as my colleague will remind me, the House was the first legislative body in 1776. It was in 1790 that the bicameral legislature began with the Senate being established in that year. But, this is very important, it only took 14 years for the State House being all alone before they created the Senate. A decision that I'm sure some House members still regret. <laughs> the math behind our 200-year history is very interesting given that the two-year legislative session that we have now was not always the norm. So just a little history on how the sessions played out. From 1776 to 1878, the General Assembly met annually one year for 102 sessions. In 1879 to 1958, the General Assembly met for 42-year sessions. In 1959 to present, Legislative sessions return to counting each subsequent calendar year, 58 in total, as one distinct session. The House, which as the original legislative body has met in more than 200 sessions, the entire General Assembly, as is known in 2016, has met for 200 sessions. So over the years, the legislature has met in various historic buildings across the Commonwealth, at locations including Independence Hall, and even a church. But since 1906, the legislature has routinely met here at our state building capital here in Harrisburg. So next month, throughout November, the 200th session flag will be flying above the capitol. The lights out front of the building will be red, white, and blue. And Melissa, thank you for taking care of all that for us. I understand that you're uh, going to be turning those lights on and off. Behind us in the rotunda cases are also pieces of history regarding the legislature, and I encourage everybody to take a look at those. And it is my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce my friend and my uh, colleague, uh, uh, who will make some remarks, Speaker of the House, Mike Terzai. Senator, thank you. It, it's uh, just an honor to be here with my, my good friend um, and the Senate pro tem. Senator uh, Joe Scarnati, along with the Majority Leader, uh, Senator Jake Corman, and uh, Senator uh, Bartolotta. Now, the three of those individuals all went first elected uh, to the Senate, but the esteemed gentleman here to my left, Senator Mario Scavella, started in the House and uh, said he wanted to stay, and then uh, all of a sudden he was running for the State Senate. <laughs> Um, we have many, actually, many, uh, <laughs> many of our good friends um, who served in the House have had an opportunity to then, then serve in the State Senate. And um, I also saw here earlier uh, my good friend, uh, Majority Leader uh, Dave Reed. While today we commemorate the 200th session of the General Assembly, um, let's look back to a man named John Jacobs, who through the newspaper, the Pennsylvania Packet, Ask the people of Chester County, how about this, not to elect him to the General Assembly. And let me read his letter dated October 8th and published October 22nd, 1776, that most very famous year in our history. To the free men of the County of Chester, gentlemen, it is with gratitude I reflect on the repeated remarks of your confidence and esteem manifested by your choosing me, one of your representatives in Assembly for many years past. And I have no doubt of your continuing the fame as I am not conscious that I have forfeited your good opinion. But I am grown old in your service and of course attended with many infirmities, which with the necessary application to my own affairs, added to the satisfaction a private life affords 
induces me to request you not to choose me into any public office at the ensuing election, as I can no longer serve you. As this is the only request I ever made of you, except of the fame kind, I hope you will grant it. I am and trust ever shall remain yours and my country's real friend, John Jacobs. Well, he was indeed elected, and they did not honor his request. And on November 28, 1776, the first day of the first session of the General Assembly, this is after creating the United States, he was elected Speaker. And he had a long and busy career in the Assembly, even though he was first elected to the Provincial Assembly in 1762, and uh, served right through the Revolution and Independence. Now, next year, the 201st session of the General Assembly, and also the 335th anniversary of the combined Provincial Assembly and General Assembly, which is our direct antecedent, we have our 335th anniversary. And um, as you know, in 1682, William Penn ordered this assembly to meet at Chester in December, and that first assembly met for four days, Monday, December 4th through Thursday, December 7th. Uh, we presume that each of the counties elected seven representatives. You may not have known this, Pennsylvania's original first three counties were Bucks, Philadelphia, and Chester. The rest of us were very glad that the other counties came along. Um, while the identity of the speaker is unknown, uh, that very first one, we believe it was Thomas Wynne, William Penn's physician, or Nicholas Moore, a good friend of William Penn's. And Wynne was separately elected in 1683 and Moore in 1684. The Provincial Assembly is considered by historians as America's first independent legislative body. And in 1685, the Assembly insisted on greater autonomy from the colonial authorities. They wanted the right to initiate legislation. And this, in essence, became the foundation of representative government in America. The fact of the matter is, the Provincial Assembly, that 335th anniversary, which is going to come upon us um, next year, is really quite a, a landmark in the, in the annals of representative democracy. Really, in the annals of representative democracy. In 1735, the Assembly first met in its headquarters, the State House, now known as Independence Hall. And we all know the history with respect to Independence Hall. I am so excited to be undertaking an effort to celebrate the 335th anniversary of, uh, of, of our uh, representative body with Senator Scarnati, our colleagues in the Senate, and our colleagues in the House from both sides uh, of the aisle, Republican and Democrat. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll, I'll open it up to um, any questions you may have. Our, our resident historian, it's a, a, a new elected group of members, right? The election is really the essence of a representative democracy. So the, the notion being is that the, the new members, uh, Senate and House, uh, you know, becoming a new body, a new session, begin anew, and, uh, and the people have spoken. So perhaps the direction they want to take on a number of these legislative items is, is different. 